thing Monday morning. It's doctor's orders. Yes, sir. Thank you. The act of creation can be a richly rewarding experience, but it's not without its share of difficulties. In order for your company to become a major player in the international carrier business, we'll be taking on the heavy hitters. FedEx, DHL, UPS. Doesn't get any hotter than that. <laughs> as long as they're taking the heat. <laughs> and when we've got them backed up against the ropes. <laughs> well, we've committed to a long-term aggressive campaign. Tell me, Don. You think we can take him to the canvas with this? We're old fight fans. Royce, that's old school. Well, I prefer the finesse. The strategy. Myself, I'm partial to heavyweights. I like punchers. Guys that go for the knockout. You quite sure about that? Because the larger canvas doesn't favor the puncher. My father was a sports writer. I grew up practically worshipping Ali. I'm listening. You're number one on the East Coast. But we're talking about the global arena. You should consider sticking and jabbing to work your way into a winning position. Are you saying I'm out of my weight class? No, no, not at all. I am simply saying you have to be willing to go the distance to spend the kind of serious money it takes to create a market leader. Well, what'd they say? Bearing in mind that Royce Clayton is a close personal friend of mine, do you really believe he has a shot going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys? Yes, I do. Why, Jenna? Because those other companies are vulnerable. Because statistics show that the market can bear it. Because it's good for his business. Because if we fail, a 30-year-old company will be destroyed, 2,000 people will be out of work, and I'll lose an old friend. We got the account. As of right now, Clayton Shipping is represented by Klein Walters Advertising. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or more specifically, by the new senior VP, Jenna Davis. Oh, yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Jenna, I know how hard you've worked on this account, coming in six, seven days a week. Not complaining. As senior VP, you do understand the hours are only going to get worse. I'm here for you night and day. What I'm alluding to in a less than subtle fashion is... Are you sure you're up to it? Mr. Walters. Uh, Don. Okay, Don. I know that when you hired me, you weren't expecting that I... Well, that I would be expecting. Believe me, I was just as surprised. My point is, I won't let you down. Okay, then. Problem. Ross? Uh huh? She thinks you stole her promotion. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way, on landing the account. Thanks. Now the real work begins. Any chance I can interest you in some pizza and paste up this evening? I can't. Kelly's dance recital, remember? Oh, gosh, yes. I have it in my calendar. I don't know where my mind is at. You okay? Everything all right at the doctor's? Yeah, it's fine. I just have so much to do before. My whole life I wanted a job like this. You know what they say, be, be careful. careful what you wish for, I know. I just don't know how I am gonna raise a child and run this department. Guess I didn't think it all the way through, huh, honey? You'll find a way. You'll manage. Mothers do. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Oh, the conference call's been pulled up, but I still have a little time. I'm gonna run out for about an hour and get some baby things. Don't forget the contracts from legal. I need them for the call.
phone company calling. Can we interest you in a great package for one low price offering all of our top... Jenna, hey, it's Tom. It's been a while, I know. Um, I was just... Well, I was thinking about you. I wonder what you're up to. It's a new place, it's a new job. I hope it's everything you thought it would be. If you get a chance, call me. And I, I'd love to catch up. Anyway, uh, take care. Thank you so much for calling. Dr. Morris recommended it. Please tell me you make house calls. That's what the outreach program is all about. We provide a range of in home services. Why did your doctor ask you to enroll? My blood pressure is elevated. Oh, we can help with that. I'll also be able to advise you on diet and nutrition. What's your schedule like? Um, I'm painting Saturday. Is there any way you can come Sunday? Sunday's good for me. How about noon? Oh, great, thanks. Bye. Bye. Hang on, I got another call. Hello? Tom? Jenna? Hey, uh, hold on a sec. Oh, is, is this about time? No, just... Let me get rid of the other line. Look, I'm gonna have to call you back. Yeah. How are you? The usual. Busy, stressed. Uh, new job's got you running ragged, huh? <laughs> Actually... I love it. I just got promoted to senior VP. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. How's the city? Yeah, what I've seen of it. I've been practically living at the office. Oh, that can't be good. All work and no play. Oh, please. You're probably sitting around in your underwear right now, prepping a layout for the paper? <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, look, I've been thinking about things. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of things? Well, you know, us things. Really? Yeah, we well, sound surprised. Oh, uh, Tom, hang on a sec. My, my cell's ringing. Uh, do you have to take that? Yeah, I'm sorry. I will call you back, though. Sure. Take care of yourself. And, uh, congrats. You know, not everything. Thanks. Bye. Hi, Madeline. It's me, your mommy. Well, it's almost time for you to come out into the world, so I thought I would give you a guided tour of your new home. your room, right next to mine. Okay, it's a work in progress. Shoot. I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Uniform's a dead giveaway, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Can I get you something? Coffee or anything? Oh, Lord, no. One more cup, I'll be bouncing off the walls. <laughs> have you had a non-stress test before? Oh, just once in 18 weeks. Oh, okay. And I'll have to take some blood as well. That's no problem. Great. Shouldn't take more than 20 minutes. Oh, good. So, where are you from? Columbus, you? <laughs> you name it. Army brat. How long have you been a nurse? 18 years, but who's counting? How about you? 
I'm creative director and senior VP for an advertising agency. Holy moly, that even sounds busy. <laughs> oh, handsome fella. He the father? Um, actually... Oh, there I go. Sticking my nose where it don't belong. Forgive me. No, no, no. It's okay. It's actually nice to talk to someone besides a co-worker. Mm. Tell you the truth, I think you're the first company I've had since I moved here eight months ago. On your own, are you? Yeah, the job was too good to pass up. Of course, if I had a reason to stay. Well, you will have company soon enough. Baby's heart rate looks good, 148 perfect. No preterm contractions, great. We're done. I just need your insurance card so I can bill you. Oh, sure, let me get my purse. Okay, there we go. Okay, ooh. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Got a lovely house. Very warm and inviting. Got good, uh, what do they call that? Fung. Fung something? <laughs> Fung shui. <laughs> Sorry. My fault. My ex always used to complain that I was sneaking up on him. <laughs> Great color scheme. It's beautiful. It will be when it's finished. Oh, here. Great. Oh, and I almost forgot. I've got some new prenatal vitamins for you. Um, they have higher doses of vitamin C and E, which might help with your condition. You should take two now. Dizzy's all. Oh, you look exhausted. Oh, it's not the half of it. Well, why don't you lie down and have a nap? I can let myself out. You sure? Positive. You let yourself rest. There you go. That'll be great, thanks. There you go. All right, just relax. Oh, and there's your card. Thanks. So if you need anything, and I mean anything, you just call me, okay? Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm very sorry. These are to stop the milk coming in. The hospital will give you enough to take with you when you're released. There is a grief counselor on the staff. I can arrange for you to see him. Can you tell me what happened? When did you start going into labor?
remember anything before that. Lynn came back somehow, I guess. Lynn? Yeah, uh, Mallory, the prenatal nurse. Oh, so you did use the hospital services. When did she see you? Um, noon, yesterday, Sunday. <sighs> it's Tuesday, Jenna. We gave you a sedative. You've been asleep since we brought you in. This nurse, Lynn Mallory, you say? I'll see what I can find out. It's important that you rest right now. I know it's difficult, but try not to dwell on what's happened. When I've gotten in touch with this nurse, I'll, I'll let you know. Doctor. Uh, what, what happened to my baby? How did you... We don't know yet. Because you delivered at home, we may never know for certain. Most likely it's cord-related. The umbilical cord could have gotten tangled and deprived the baby of oxygen. Okay, help. Okay. But even an autopsy might prove inconclusive. I want to have a service, okay? I'll tell the hospital. Now, look. You take these. And you rest. I'll call him again later. Dale Pendergast, the hospital administrator. I wouldn't bother you under normal circumstances, but I'm afraid we have a problem. The nurse who came to see you, you said her name was Lynn Mallory. And she told you she was affiliated with this hospital? Yes. Well, uh, no, not specifically. But I, I applied and she called right away, so... We have no Lynn Mallory on our staff. But I filled out the forms, at, asked Dr. Morris. Uh, yes, yes, uh, he did confirm that, but he hasn't seen you since last week. No, because I saw the nurse. She came to my house. I'm sure there's an explanation. Look, I didn't imagine all this. She came to my house. She was wearing a uniform. I I she had a fetal monitor. She gave me vitamins. She, she took my blood. It's possible she works for another hospital in the area. I'll make some calls, see if I can locate her, all right? And I should tell you, the coroner's office has requested an autopsy, and the police will want to question you. It's just common procedure in a case like this. I'm sorry.
unfortunately, the sandwiches in the cafeteria are not much better than what they're serving up here. So, coffee and donuts. Jenna Davis? No. Detective Dana Hawk, robbery homicide. Homicide? I'm sorry, you are? Tom Robbins. Tom's a friend. You flew in to help. Well, right now, I need to speak to Miss Davis alone, if you don't mind. Oh, I think I'd like to stay. I have an interest in what happened here as well. How's that? Tom's a father. You were there? No, I am. Um, I live out of town. We're not together. I see. Then, as I said, I need to speak to Miss Davis alone right now. It's okay, Tom. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Let me settle in a hotel. I will be right back. Okay. I'd like that. Okay. We have the hospital administrator's report. Um. You say a nurse came to your home claiming to work for the hospital. Yeah, only it turns out she didn't. No one's ever heard of her. And you think this person had something to do with the death of your baby? Yes. Why? Well, I'm not exactly sure that she was the last person I saw, and now she's vanished. Was she involved with the delivery? I vaguely remember her being there, but I was in and out of consciousness, so... When they found you, the umbilical cord was cut. Can you tell me about that? No, I don't remember any of it. Did you give her any money? No, she said she'd bill me. Hit my phone. I phoned her number. It, it should be in, in the phone's memory from my caller ID. We're sorry. The number you have reached is not in service. Please check the number and try your call again. Damn! I'll trace the number, see what I can find out. Meanwhile, I'd like to bring in a sketch artist, if that's all right with you. Might give us something to work with. Yeah. No, she's not familiar. Look, I've checked with my entire staff. There are five nurses who are part of our outreach program. Two of them are on duty, two were at home with their families, and one was out of state. And none of them had any contact with Jenna Davis. Do you mind if I show this around? No, no, not at all. Um, there is something else I should tell you. Her blood work on the day she was brought in. Traces of tranquilizers, short-acting barbiturates, were found in her system. I checked with her obstetrician. He never prescribed anything. I'd like to talk to him. Dr. Morris, I'll give you that number. What about the baby? Any abnormalities? There's an autopsy scheduled for later today. I'll let you know if something turns up. I appreciate your time. Detective? Giving birth while unconscious is extremely rare. I know of cases where the mother has been put under general anesthetic, but even then, only after having had a number of prior children. And this business of the nurse, I have checked with every hospital in a 50-mile radius, and there's no record of a Lynn Mallory. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Do you want me to come in? I can, I can make you something to no, eat. No, 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 you, I'm actually pretty exhausted. I think I'm just gonna lie down for a while, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, and if you like, I can stick around for a couple days. Check in on you. I would like that. me you'll take it easy you know how you are i promise okay okay
come over now. Tom. What's wrong? The music went off in the nursery, so I went in there and I found the video camera. I left it on the day the nurse was here, and so I checked it because I thought there was something on it, but there's not. And so then I went to the bathroom and I checked the medicine cabinet, and the bottle of prenatal vitamins she gave me, they're, they're gone. I mean, it, it's like she never even existed. Like, I imagined all this in my Jim, head, and it just isn't... It's okay. Look, this is all still fresh. If you just take some time... No, 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 that's just it. It's the other things, the things that are leading up to it, that are, that are just confusing me. I mean, God, I've gone over all this in my head, and it just doesn't make any sense. What did she have to gain by lying to me? Maybe the cop can find something. <laughs> right, she thinks I'm crazy, too. Look, under the circumstances... Thanks! All I'm saying is with what you've been through, who wouldn't be a little bit crazy? You need to stop worrying about this woman and let the cops do their job. Give yourself a chance to grieve. No, I can't do that right now. to realize that something happened that is out of your control. Cut yourself some slack. You know, you're not alone here. Really? Will you help me find this woman? I'll stay as long as you need me. Are you sure? I mean... Oh, God. I hate when you do that. You're right. Thank you. The office. I've been dodging them. I need to take this. Yeah. Jenna Davis. Jenna, you didn't need to come down. You should be at home resting. <sighs> sure, and lose my job too. Could they be at home? I never took the notes home, Debbie. Look, look at this mess. We deleted the corrected copy, so I started looking. I left it right here on my desk. So, with everything that you've been through. Damn it, why is this happening right now? But have you asked Roz? Could she have come to my office? I wouldn't put it past her to do something like this, would you? She asked. Jenna. Well, I didn't expect to see you here. I didn't expect someone to sabotage my hard work. Sabotage? Jenna's notes on the contract are missing. They need to be the clients by close of business. I have them. You? They were out on your desk. I wanted to look them over before sending them up. Oh. Debbie, would you excuse us for a moment, please? Yeah, you pulled me off the account. Well, it's a temporary leave of absence, but... Yeah. Oh, there was a mix-up with some paperwork and... I guess it kind of flew off the handle. Mm -hmm. Um, Tom, can it wait until tomorrow? Yeah. Well, someone's at my door. Uh -huh. Okay, bye. Detective. Mind if I come in? No, no, come in, please. I'm hoping this means you have some good news for me. I wish I did. I can't find anyone resembling the nurse you claim you met with. Well, what about the phone number I gave you? Dead end. One of those pay-as-you-go <gasps> mobile phones bought over the counter. No ID required. Then why are you here? Miss Davis, the hospital found evidence of tranquilizers in your blood. Tranquilizers? That's not possible. Were you taking any medication at the time? No, just the prenatal vitamins that Lynn gave me. I bet they were tranquilizers. Could I see them? They've gone missing. Look, obviously she drugged me. She gave me something to knock me out. I, I wasn't even due for two more weeks, but I went into labor? What if she gave me Pitocin to jumpstart my delivery? You know about Pitocin? Yeah, I read about it on the internet when I was first pregnant. I see. I checked with the lab. Unfortunately, Pitocin is a substance the body already processes. It metabolizes quickly, wouldn't show in a tox screening. But don't you see, if she was a nurse, then she would know that. Or she could have had access to the internet. Miss Davis, did you make a comment to your secretary? How am I going to run this department and raise a child? But you, you went to my work? 
I don't, I don't have to defend that remark. You're also recently promoted, correct? Yeah. It takes a lot of work to earn VP stripes. Even more to hold on to them. What are you implying? Speculating, Miss Davis. I'm only speculating. Based on what I'm being told by doctors, hospital staff, the people you work with. You think I killed my baby? Abby, how are you coming along with the intern evaluation? Is she in? I want to see her right now. You told the cop I was on drugs. <sighs> it's okay, Abby. I want to see the blood work from my baby's autopsy. Miss Davis, please. Do you have the results of the autopsy? This is not... This must be a mistake. It says the autopsy was never performed. Uh... Your child's remains were cremated. Sorry, I, I, I can only go by what the record shows, and I mean it might be a clerical error. <laughs> so you're, you're saying, um, you're saying this is a mistake? I don't buy it. I promise, I will personally look into this. Someone's tampering with your records, and that's all you have to say. You'll look into it. I know. I am terribly sorry. No, I don't want your apologies. I want to know who's responsible. Why didn't you call her? Huh? You were quick enough to call her about me. Tell her to investigate. Miss Davis, if you'll just let Tom, me... thank God. This is turning into a nightmare. Jenna, listen. I may have found something. So I took a look at the footage from the video. Now, the camera shuts off soon after you put it down, so there's no visual of the woman. Well, I already told you she's not on the video. Yeah, I know, but I did find something. So I downloaded it to my laptop so we could blow it up. Okay. You see at the point where you put it down? It's framing the window? Mm-hmm. And what do you see right there? A car? Yeah, a 2004 Taurus. Look at this. A partial plate number. Now, I contacted a friend of mine back home that works at the paper. Gave him this license plate. This guy is dialed into all sorts of agencies. He's going to track this down for us. Tom, um... That cop I spoke to, she thinks I may have had something to do with the baby's death. She can't be serious. I, they found drugs in my system, and it gets worse. The baby's remains were cremated. I, I, I have run through this over and, 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 and over again, and the only thing that makes sense is that the nurse who treated me was after my baby. What? Yeah, I, I know, but look, there's a pattern, okay? She she poses as a nurse, and she comes to my home, and she gives me tranquilizers, and then she forces the birth. Yeah, but why? I, I don't know, maybe to kidnap her, but, but okay, something went wrong, and and the baby died, and, and, and she panicked, and she took off, but don't you see? I need to find this woman, and, and I don't know how. Okay, just slow down. Slow down. Let's just focus on what we have. I'll go from there, okay? Hey. We'll find her. And we'll figure all of this out, I promise. Hello? It's the hospital. When? I can't be positive this is her, you understand? But you saw her. I just started my shift, and I saw a woman I didn't recognize walking away from my station. And she wasn't one of the regular nurses? No. About as tall as you, long blonde hair, glasses. Why didn't you report her? Well, she could have been a new hire or just came off the night shift. I don't know. Do you still think that cremation order was a clerical error? I'll go call Detective Hawk. You, you, you have no idea what I've been through. No, we've heard. Hey. You've heard it's all over the hospital. You find anything? I mean, stillbirths are rare enough these days, but two in the same week? Excuse me? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, just a few days before yours. Yeah, right. Another woman's baby was stillborn. Uh, you don't happen to know how I could get in touch with her, do you? Uh, I'm not permitted to give out patients' information. Would you uh, excuse me for a minute? down the plate number. It was a rental. The day before you went to labor, a woman named Nicole Parker picked it up. Got an address. Come on, it's three-hour drive. Okay, there's something I need to check out first, all right? Are you sure this is the place? It's the address in the file. Hell of a dump. That is a nice truck, though. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. You wait here. Two of us might seem like we're pressuring her. Are we? I don't want it to seem like that. And it'll need a woman's touch. Oh. So you wait. I'm Jenna Davis. I'm sorry, I tried to call you, but your phone's out of order. So. Yeah, I already told the damn phone company that the check's in the mail. Look, if you're selling something, I'll Oh, well, that's to... not it. I'd like to talk to you about your baby. I understand she was still born. Your call? No. Look, the same thing happened to my baby just a few days ago. What's it to me? I want to know what happened to you and your baby. <clears throat> There's nothing to tell. She died when I gave birth. Doctors said I had toxemia. By any chance, were you treated at home by a nurse? Have you ever heard the name Lynn Mallory? No. She told me she was a nurse, only it turns out she wasn't, and now my baby's... dead. So? Why are you telling me? Please don't believe me. So I thought... What? Thought that maybe we could help each other? Well, we can't. Okay, sorry about your baby, but I can't help you. Wait, wait, just... Did you recognize this woman? No. But you didn't even look! Anything? You said you have an address for this Nicole Parker? Mm hmm Let's try that. Well, what now? Well, I think we just wait. See if anybody shows up or comes out. Okay. How can a woman who can't afford her phone bill afford a brand new SUV? Um, different priorities, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Something just didn't seem right there. Be right back. You can't just take someone's mail. I'm just looking. 